So Brooke and I decided to grab the boat and head up north for a few nights. We brought a bunch of crab pots and found a really awesome creek to explore. Cheers. But unfortunately, this happened the day before we went out. So I decided to go for a drive down these cool tracks in the mangroves, but um, yeah, I got fully bogged and it's real bad. Completely stuck. Tide's coming up. Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, currently walking in the middle of nowhere to try and find some help. This is really bad because the tide's coming back up. So yeah, oh, I can't believe it. Why'd I sell the patrol? Well, I found help. A big cruiser pulled me out, so uh, she's just an outlet. And um, yeah, I'll be selling this highlight, so if anyone wants to buy it. Just kidding, but um, yeah, man, that could have been deadly. Right, boat's in. I've never um, I've never gone crabbing in this creek before, so I'm really excited. It's gonna be pretty epic, and um, yeah, gonna set eight pots for each, me and Brooke, and um, see how it goes. Ew. All right, guys, have a look down here, how shallow it is. Super shallow. Tide's only just coming up, but we're trying to get through this creek and um, set some pots out oh, and trying to work our way up the creek. But if we get stuck, tide's coming up anyway, so it's all good. We thought we'd just get out early. It's got to be crabs. There has to be crabs. It's so clear, I can literally see the whole bottom of the creek. And I can never usually see bottom of the creek. Guys, we've come pretty uh, far up the creek. I can't really get through there, so we've got to wait for the tide to come up a bit. But I'm going to uh, bait some of these pots now. We've just got mullet here. Cut this open. A few bags with just straight mullet heads. Like, um, oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. And then we actually got a few whole mullets. So um, I might chuck four or so, maybe three or four pots along this creek bit. And the rest can um, go a bit further down the creek. Yeah, we'll put a head in this one. Maybe two heads. I got a lot of bait. I'll put them in the back there. All right, so there's one pot ready. I'll make a few of these up and we'll drop them around here. But yeah, that's a simple setup we're doing. Yeah, I think you're allowed four pots per person. So me and Brooke, obviously we got eight crab pots to set out, which is gonna be epic. Coming back tomorrow, pulling them all in. I'm super excited. We might have to reverse it, it's super tight. We're so deep down the creek, it's epic. Oh, it's not a stingray. Look at him, he's swimming along next to us. Hey, watch out behind you. What? Wait, we'll put one right in there. You beauty. There is gonna be a big... I'll tie this one up in this street here. <laughs> How many juicy crabs do you reckon will be in that one? Comment down below. <laughs> no, I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Well, where the hell do I put this? No. Oh. <laughs> this is why I go crabbing with my hands. Pots are stressful. Alright, that pot's out there. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Easy. Piece of piss, mate. <laughs> I'm just like pushing off each of these branches. All right, I reckon we put another pot just up in here. Yeah.
Oh, that was so rough. All right, super windy. We gotta get out of here, bro. Right, we're way further up the creek. Got another two pots set, and there's a little inlet up here that I want to chuck two in. Should be good, but um, hopefully we fit in there because it's quite tight this one. <laughs> Got like another what three pots to go yeah all right guys last pot is set right down there we're gonna get the hell out of here because we've been here all morning I'm chasing shaman no sharks. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. But yeah, it's the next morning. Tide's pumping in from the ocean, filling up this creek really quick. And we're just waiting the last few, you know, minutes to um get through the little break in the creek there. So that's what we're waiting for. Brooks in the boat over behind me. But man, I can't, guys. I seriously am so excited to check these pots. Like I was buzzing last night. I could barely sleep just thinking about it. All the juicy mud crabs we're gonna be pulling up. Brooks literally like Nick, you need to lower your expectations. But nah, we're getting big crabs. Woo! How many big juicy mud crabs are we getting, Brooke? None. Don't None. have expectations. <laughs> I literally just said that you were telling me to lower my expectations. <laughs> Alright, tide's coming in. We gotta get out there, get these mud crabs. I'm gonna push this out into the channel. I think we made it. The deep bitch just here. We're gonna zoom over to the uh, to the first lot of crab pots now. Pull them up. Beautiful it is. All right, just landed the drone safely. That was an epic flight. And now it's actually time to get in there and catch some crabs. Got that on me? Yeah. Right. Yep, yeah, let's do it. It is so bloody shallow. My God. The whole boat motor is just chilling up. And we're just pretty much drifting with the tide right now. Yeah. Look at it. Like, look at that. You can see right down through the bottom. And I just see like fish fly away when you drive past on the boat and everything. Oh, look, there's one. Look, there's a stingray. Oh, so clear. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap, guys. Look at it. Oh, there's fish everywhere. It's like glass. Let's hope it gets even better when we get to the end and see the pot. <laughs> I do not have the right size tinny for this, but this bad boy does it all. Oh my god. <laughs> the first pot. <laughs> oh. 
All right, there's the first pot. Brooke, can you reach that? All right, pull in this pot. Let's see what we got. Just let's see if we got a mud crab. <sighs> oh, hello. We got nothing. Oh no. This was the spot I thought we'd get the, the most crabs. Oh no. There you go, mate. Just a silly old toadfish. Beyond further investigation, I found this. Big hole. The mullet won't even touch though, so I doubt that's the reason there's no crabs in the pot, but I'm gonna blame it on that. We're officially the most shallow we can get. Um, Here's the next pot, so I'll just lean in and grab this one. What? Oh. We just keep catching these damn toadfish. Alright. Another failed pot. Next pot. Alright, pull it in, Brooke. What do we got? What do we got? Is it heavy? Yeah. yeah Is it heavy? It is heavy. Oh it's heavy because. There's a mud crab! Is it? Yeah! Pull it up! Oh, there's two! There's two! Oh, God. Whoa! Oh, it's giant! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh crap, we gotta undo that. Alright, I'll do it. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! 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 All right, guys, if you see under there, it's a female. Oh, a female and a little baby male. Yeah. There she is. Little male out. Here, mate. Oh, <laughs> female's out. Female's out. She's angry. And she's not happy. Oh. All right, guys, as you can see, here's the crab measure. If that was a male, we would have been taking them home. She is exactly 15 centimeters. But as you can see, the big round bit here, we know that means she's a female, I've told you guys that before, and you can tell by the little mini nippers. <laughs> we'll chuck her back. Thanks for um, going in our pot. Hopefully she uh, lives on. Do you want to come get a low shot? Bye. There she goes. Okay, there's hope, 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 hope. All right, so far one female, one undersized male out of three pots. It was a deeper pot though, so the others are deeper. Yeah, the others, we might have a chance. Let's yeah. get to them now though. Cool, let's go. Holy crap, I'm literally freaking out. I got the sunnies on and I can see they're polarized. I can see in the water and I just saw a goddamn barramundi. He was huge. Oh my God, he just shot He was just here somewhere. There was like five of them. And I saw one that was like, oh, at, no, no, that's no, 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 that's not him. Careful, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Oh crap. Whoa, there's a shark. Oh, there's a shark. Where's the barrel? It was a bloody metery for sure. No, it wasn't a metery, but damn, it was big. Oh, God, it definitely took off, didn't it? That is epic. You guys know my dream fish to catch is a barramundi. And I don't know why, but I, I don't pack any fishing rods. I see one! You see a crab? Don't know if it's a big one. I see one too. Whoa! Oh! That's it's biggest. a female! It's humongous! Holy crap, she's missing all her legs! Oh! There's no way to grab her by! She looks dead. She's dead. 
Guys, I don't even know what to say right now. This mud crab, all her legs are like pretty much bitten off. She's got a big chunk out of her there and she's completely dead. That's easy 15 centimeters and she's, she's just dead. I'm thinking another male or something's eating her, but we're not gonna take her. Obviously you can't take them, but yeah, she's dead. So I might just whack her back in the water. Aww. How? I'm actually really curious. Look at her. Is that not the weirdest thing? Out we go. Nothing. Nothing, I'll pull it out of the tree. What? Babe. I don't know. We only have two pots left. Oh gosh. The last pot's in there that we set yesterday. All right, we're at the, the second last pot. It's the actual last pot we set. We got one more to collect on the way back that we missed. We get the last one. <laughs> Pulling it up. We got a mud crab. I think it's undersized. Really nice, healthy mud crab. He's super feisty. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll chuck him back in the water. See ya, bro. Are you serious? Still have one more. Oh, it looks heavy. Is oh, it heavy? heavy? Is it heavy? It's Keep heavy. pulling. I need to see it. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. It's empty, Brooke. What the heck? Pull Was it heavy because of this guy? <laughs> Giant hole in this pot, too. Where? Oh my god. That'll be it. That'll be why we didn't catch a mud crab. It's literally perfectly sized for them to just crawl out. I bet they all fell out when you pulled it up, hey? Oh my god. Because it was that heavy. There's another hole there. What? We spent so much effort putting these out and collecting them here. Why don't we just go to the seafood shop, have a mad cook up on the beach? Yeah. Salvo. Guys, you win some, you lose some. I actually think I have the worst luck, you know, out of anybody with catching stuff like this. And it's kind of funny because it's my full-time job, but and I can't seem to catch anything. But look, to be honest, I want seafood. I think we just buy some prawns, something else, some fish, and we can just cook it up on the beach, cassava, whatever you want. So mm. yeah, let's go back and have a swim and have some fun, eh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> No way. We found this sneaky little track. We're gonna check it out. Oof, a bit tight. <sighs> Alright, guys, you all know today we didn't catch a damn mud crab, which is the saddest thing ever. And we just ducked to the shop. What did we get? Uh, we got some salt and pepper calamari. Salt and pepper squid. We grabbed a bag of salt and pepper squid from the local store and we're gonna cook that up here. Because why not? I think it's a well-deserved meal. Sun setting. I got the cast set up. Beautiful, beautiful views. You Do a handstand, Brooke. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> that was epic! Mmm. Alright. Here it is. It's our premium salt and pepper squid because we can't catch the seafood ourselves. So that's what we're going to be cooking up. 
and I'll probably uh, do it in the pot here. Got a bit of oil, got the tongs, lemon, two Coronas. I literally don't think we need anything else. No. That's it. Woo! Yeah. Your turn, handstand. Really? Yeah. Right now? Go for it. <laughs> My back. Are you alright? I can't move. <laughs> oh, my kidneys. Do it again, don't fall on your back. Oh. Go on. Woo! Damn. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep, not too much. That's actually... Yeah, that'll probably be enough. So that's enough oil. We're going to crank this up. Oh. Yeah, we, we have the flame, so we'll whack this on. Get that heat... Ow. Get that heating up, nice and hot. I don't have a bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, there's one. All fingers still attached. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Gotta pick up the lid Yeah, people would always comment like, Oh, I bet he didn't even pick up that rubbish. I would have picked that up, but Brooke's just gonna do that quickly now so you can see what we actually do. And second one. Just a little damn. <laughs> All right, in goes one little bit. That's mine because you can never have enough lemon. Get it in there. It's in there. All right, cheers, Brooke. Nice. We're not alcoholics, I swear. Hold my beer. <laughs> I can hear your little feet like ding, ding, ding. Nice. In case you guys don't know, I can handstand. We've been practicing our handstands. Yeah, I don't know why. I've, I've been enjoying handstands recently. Uh, I'm just gonna check if it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Oh my. I'm gonna start putting them in one by one. Oh, it's popping. <laughs> wow. My best <laughs> that pulse is gonna go boom. <laughs> And what did I say about today? No expectations. No expectations. Cut back to me saying no expectations about catching mud crabs. Don't None. have expectations. No expectations. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> Got me a little bit. Rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish. That's all you get. <laughs> Alright, look around. They're looking ready. Oh yeah. We got nowhere to put them, so... Might just use the lid, I guess. And then all the oil can drain to the middle. That's heaps. <laughs> That's it. All right, there we have it. Our salt and pepper squid. Looks pretty delicious. Mmm. Is it good? 
Yeah, that's good. It's not as good as fresh. Obviously. But that's good. Here you go. Have a piece. Mmm. I love swim. You love food? Swim! <laughs> I thought you were like, oh, I love We're food. Out here. I love food. On our little road trip, smashing down salt and pepper squid in the middle of the mangroves. Mmm. It's a place to so be right good. now, yeah. Oh.